tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. You know, uh, Chris, alam naman ng mga tao na ang CCP um, yun ang yes. mga production and then all of a sudden in March, everything, all the venues were closed uh, and on ghost light mode, walang nangyayari. So I'm sure that uh, you in the management of CCP uh, had to adapt, no? And, you know, given that it happened right in the middle of your 50th anniversary. Tama. Um, this year was supposed to be the second half of the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Marami sanang nakahanda tayong magagandang mga programa at mga palabas. Uh, to celebrate and to finally cap the 50th anniversary celebration. At uh, hindi lang si CCP na apekto ang Tita Gracie, no? pati yung iba nating mga kasama sa ibang oh, theater oh. groups. There were a lot of theater productions, big music musicals that nagtitek, nag tinatawag na nasa final dress tech na sila and they never saw opening night. They never opened. And so medyo malungkot at syempre nandun din yung mga marami nating kasamahan na a lot of these, as you know, are freelance artists na naapektuhan talaga dahil wala na yung mga palabas, wala na yung mga scheduled events at marami pang iba. So CCP oh, okay. lang, uh, we decided to uh, suspend all of our activities till end of the year. So wow. you can imagine the impact of this whole thing sa CCP. CCP does at least 800 shows a year. And uh, we employ at least uh, more than 5,000 artists and cultural workers. So a lot of uh, these jobs are going to be affected as well as audiences who would have wanted, who might have uh, patronized our show. Remember, uh, oh, we expect about 100,000 to a million to the center a year. So all of these uh, will be affected for sure. Oh, but I, I know how resilient the CCP has been. Tama. Uh, but at the same time, hindi natin pinapakawalan yung uh, specific characteristic ng ating arts, no, na live. Ibig sabihin yun, talagang kakaiba yung ating yung tawag na live performing arts. Kakaiba yung uh, papasok ka sa isang theater, kasama mo yung napakaraming tao, nangipagchismisan ka muna sa lobby, you enter, the lights darken, the, uh, the curtains rise, and you could feel the collective excitement of everyone uh, about anticipating uh, the first uh, hints of music, the first burst of color on the stage, iba eh. No? And then, iba. iba talaga yung dala ng live performance. Hindi pa rin natin pinapakawala yan. We are still hoping, and of course, definitely that they will come, that we will go back to our theaters with a vengeance. No? But uh, habang hindi pa pwede yun, uh, hayaw naman natin pakawalan yung connection natin with their audiences. Because we know they're out there, they're in their homes, and they're still wanting to connect with the arts, no? to, to connect with their souls through song, yeah. through music, through dance. Dahil of course, lahat tayo, bago lahat dito. Yes. Pero uh, alam mo, ang unis nating mga Pinoy na ano, oh, ha, yes. sumakay sa... Oh. We're, yes, we're, we're what we call very uh, early adapters. So. Early adapters. We're early adapters. Yes. And, uh, we're early adapters and sa totoo lang, uh, everybody has a gadget. Everybody is reachable via digital, if not a laptop, a mobile device. And the TVs now are connected to internet, smart TV. So, sigurado ako na talagang mas madami pang maaabot tayo ng mga audience ng CCP, hindi lang sa Metro Manila, pati sa mga karatig puok, mga probinsya, Visayas, at Mindanao. At sa mga taga-ibang bansa, lalong-lalo na ang ating mga minamahal na kababayan na nasa Amerika, nasa Middle East, mga OFW, na sabik, na sabik, na sabik, makadinig ng, mak makapagpanood ng play, makapagpanood ng uh, cinema, ng mga movies, at mga ibang produ production ng CCP. Nakikita kong uh, advantage nitong the virtual reality tour ng CCP, lalong-lalo na sa mga mag-aaral, yung mga bata, no para ma maaga pa lang yung mga grade school na malalayo sila actually a lot of them are doing home school now no kung maka access access sila ng ng virtual tour kahit na homeschooling i'm sure may mga may mga estudyante na magugustuhan nila yan kasi ang CCP sa kanila parang aspirational eh dumbang 
yung bang okay, nyara nag-aaral ako sa malayong probinsya na hindi talaga ako makakapunta sa Maynila para pumisita ng CC, sa CCP. Pero ngayon, dahil magkakaroon ng virtual reality tour ang CCP, yung mga guro na, nag, na nagtuturo ng mga estudyante tungkol sa arts, culture, history, maaari nilang i-access ito no sa sa kanilang kanilang kanila mga eskwelahan basta meron silang online uh, may internet connection makikita nila para nang nilang gadadalin yung mga bata sa CCP kung makapasok na tayo sa loob makita natin na oh, ang dami pa lang tinatawag natin na uh, warms no in terms of uh, yes. uh, mga artworks at mga artists na nasa loob kaya uh, sana itong tinatawag natin na virtual ano eh pamamaraan para unti-unting uh, maranasan ng ating mga habayan na medyo malalayo at kung meron sa pagkakataon na ma- mapadpad sa malapit sa CCP ay ito na ngayon ang siyang maging uh, paraan or uh, yes. parang motivation para talagang pumasok sila ng pinta doon sa Oo. loob ng ating uh, gusali. Ang sining, importante para ma-recover yung ating sense of humanity kasi nagiging ano eh yung yung expression art is really an expression di ba talaga uh, kahit na hindi ka artist no you don't even if you don't call yourself an artist but during an extreme time like this or you know when you are let's say hit by something unexpected or something that is uh, life changing And I'm sure this pandemic is life-changing for many people. No? Talagang magkakaroon ng uh, expression. And this uh, continues as we speak. No? Um, nakita pa lang natin to yung uh, uh, like uh, this past uh, few weeks, ang dami-dami na, lalong dumadami yung content. Hindi lang from CCP, but from other productions as well. I think... Uh, In fact, uh, that's one of the things that we're also trying to focus on, which is to help yung... Uh, marami kasi tayong tinatago na archives, di ba? I'm sure pati ikaw, uh, yeah. Gracie, di ba? may mga programs mo, may mga clippings ka dyan, may mga pictures ka dyan, yung iba pa sa atin, may mga video recordings yan, no? Especially yung mga yes. kumpanya. So, baka this is the time to consider, to share it on the digital platform. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.